Good afternoon. My name is Kevin Pasternak, and I'll be giving you an overview of Pulse, our business intelligence software today. We're going to cover what exactly is Pulse, what are some of the different views in, in Pulse, and what are KPIs, key performance indicators. According to the Aberdeen Group, one of the challenges that organizations face today is delivering information both internally and externally within their operation. This is a quote from the Aberdeen Group. Pulse is made up of dashboards, which have key performance indicators that can tell you what's going on in your business today in real time. There can also be KPIs in there that tell you about historical information. Pulse has an open database. So if you'd like to license additional connections, you can do so to other SQL-based programs. You can also set up pivot tables in Pulse, similar to pivot tables you would currently be using in Excel. You can also set up alerts so that when a KPI reaches a certain point, in an email or a text alert is delivered to one or more people within your organization. Pulse runs through a browser. There's certainly a security built in so only people that have rights to access and see certain KPIs can see it. You can also set up Pulse where people external to your organization could view KPIs. Those KPIs, once again, are made up of charts and graphs, data grids, pivots, and gauges. Dashboards within Pulse are user definable. You can configure them any way you want. You can actually have up to six different panels within one view. There are existing KPIs that ship with the product, or you can set up and define your own KPIs. You can set up an unlimited number of views for your company. As I said, pivot tables can also be set up with Impulse, pulling data directly from your Prophecy Dispatch system. These are very similar to the pivot tables you would set up and use in Excel today. User-definable alerts can be data-driven. So when a KPI reaches a certain number, let's say a deadhead percent reaches or exceeds a certain value, an email or text alert can be sent to various people within your organization. Let's take a look at some of the different KPIs that are built into the Pulse product. This is an example of some of the load KPIs that come with the Pulse product. Once again, we're looking at a view, and within that view, there are six different panels. We can see our book loads KPI in the upper left, and we can set this up so it can look at any date range, and this goes for any of the KPIs, whether we want to look at the book loads today, this week, this month, this year. Once again, any user-definable time frame, you can set that up. And in real time, as loads get booked, this gauge is going to move. We can see next that a booked loads trend. Once again, you can look at any over across any period of time. The KPI next to that one, the third one on the top, booked loads versus prior year. So you can do some analytics comparing this year to last year. On the bottom row, we can see the number of loads that have been delivered or completed today. Delivered load trends next to that. And once again, delivered loads versus a prior year. Once again, all of these KPIs that we're looking at are standard KPIs that come with the product. Revenue KPIs, there's going to be three different views that we're going to look at here. But some of the information, once again, in these KPIs, we can see dispatcher revenue in the upper left. To the right of that, we can see dispatcher revenue versus the prior year. And in that one, we've got a goal line. So we can see dispatchers that are above or below that line. We can see driver revenue next to that. And once again, we can look at any time frame uh, that, that we'd want to look at. An example of how you might want to use driver revenue with a goal line would be if your drivers are paid on a percentage of revenue. And you want to make sure that the loads are being balanced, the revenue is being balanced, so that one driver isn't making a lot more money than another driver. On the bottom row, we can see driver revenue versus the prior year. We can see tractor revenue, and you can include or exclude uh, tractors that you want when you're building that KPI. Once again, we've got a goal line there. We can see ones that are at or above or below the, the goal line. And then tractor revenue versus the prior year as well. On the next revenue view, we can see gross profit. Once again, we can set that for today. We can set it for this week. We can set it for this month. We can set it for this year. And we can include any revenue or expense types that are coming out of dispatch within that, within that KPI. Next to that KPI in the top and the middle, we can see gross profit dollars versus prior year. 
And next to that, we can see a gross profit trend. On the bottom row, we can see gross revenue, gross revenue trend, and gross revenue versus prior year. Our third view of revenue KPIs, we can see revenue per loaded mile. Next to that, we can see revenue per loaded mile trends. And once again, we can see the ones that are at, above, or below the goal line that we've got set there. On the bottom, we can see revenue per mile. That's all miles. And then we can see tractor revenue per loaded mile. Once again, you have a number of different items that you can adjust on these, whether it's the time frame you're looking at or items you want to include or exclude um, as revenue types that are included in the calculations. Some of the mileage KPIs that come preloaded, driver miles. So if drivers are being paid on a per mile basis, you may want to see once again all your drivers and see drivers that are above or below the line so that one driver isn't running a lot more miles than another driver and um, feeling that they're not getting their equal share. Loaded miles. Just what it says, we can look at any time frame to see what are, what are loaded miles for a specific time frame, unloaded miles for a specific time frame, average length of haul on the bottom left, deadhead percent of an extremely key indicator so you can track in real time what is your deadhead percent, what is it for today, what is it for this week, what is it for this month, and your dispatchers can work to minimize that or, or lower that. A few miscellaneous KPIs. Here we've got one that is looking at our, our loads that are delivered and not yet invoiced. And you can set this up for a number of days. So maybe I want to set it up and say loads delivered, not invoiced, um, that have been delivered more than four days ago or five days ago. Obviously, the longer it takes you to get the paperwork back from your drivers or carrier, if you're a broker, um, the longer it takes you to get that invoice out. So you want to get those invoice out as, invoices out as quickly as possible. Driver type distribution um, would be the one next to that. You know, what kind of drivers do you have? Lease drivers, owner operators, payroll drivers. What's the distribution of those drivers? Performance KPIs, delivery performance. Are you delivering early, late, on time? And what is your on time percentage? And finally, some brokerage KPIs. What's your gross margin? <laughs> Mine is a hefty 67.55%. Um, that can be per day, per week, per month, once again, per quarter, per year, whatever, however you want to look at that. Your gross margin percentage versus prior year and your gross margin trend. Now, once again, all these KPIs that we've just looked at and reviewed are included with the product. You can also create your own custom KPIs. Pulse is going to deliver all this information internally to the right people. It runs right through a browser. You could even put up a big screen right in operations and set up so only some operational KPIs are, are being viewed by your operation people. We can include information from multiple systems if you want us to get if you want to add third party um, integrations to different programs as well. It is simple to use, it is simple to implement. You can be up and running in no time at all. Thank you very much for attending this overview of Pulse, our business intelligence software.